it's, it's a human nature thing, I think, that we get used to something and it loses the importance. It loses the luster sometimes. It loses the impact. I had the pleasure of growing up in the Pacific Northwest. And I, I grew up on the only live but dormant volcano within a city limits anywhere in the United States, in the continental United States. And there were, everywhere you looked, you could see, whether you looked north or south, you could see a whole row of different volcanoes, different mountains, and they're gorgeous. And we lived in the most lush valley called the Willamette Valley that sits in between the coastal mountain range and the Cascade mountain range. And if you go from Portland two hours west, you hit the Pacific Ocean and you get to enjoy the sand and everything that the ocean has to offer. And if you go two hours east, you're in the high desert and it's got its own incredible sense of beauty. It's just amazing. And I never lost the privilege of being able to live in an area that was so beautiful. Um, and yet, I know so many people that have lived there so long, they're just blind to the beauty that's all around them. Uh, Lisa and I were part of a camera club in those days. And people would say, well, what do I have to take pictures of? And I'm like, you're kidding, right? I mean, just go outside of your house. It's amazing. And everywhere I've lived in the country, and I've lived in all four corners of this country, and been in almost every state, that same beauty exists. But we, we get so used to it that it becomes background. It happens in the church too. I got, I got asked many, many years ago um, to help launch and birth and plant a new church. And this church, the, the pastor who was planting it, wanted to um, do communion every week. And I loved that idea. I love communion. I love what it does for me. I love just the feeling of holiness, of being able to come that way into the presence of God. And what I learned in the year I was part of that is that like the mountains and the, the absolute beauty of the Northwest, communion became background noise. And they'd all line up and come down front similar to what we do. But they'd be talking, and I've said this before, there wasn't anybody focused, at least I didn't see anybody that was focused on the holiness. They were talking about the... Saturday football games, the Sunday football games, the things they did with their kids, water skiing, fishing, whatever it might be, they were talking about anything other than with the Lord about what they were going to do. And, and it, when something becomes real regular, when you see it or hear it all the time, there's, there's a real danger that we allow that to happen in our lives. We're going to look at this today in John's Gospel, as we talk about Jesus being the Good Shepherd. 